He is Mr. Ramana, proprietor of Bumi Seeds. The machinery used in seed production unit is visible behind on the screen. The person is explaining how the seeds are divided into hybrid varieties. The farmer breeds the seeds under the guidance of the proprietor and labels or give codes to the different varieties. The seeds are planted and tested for characters. Male and female plants are identified. Plants are crossed. Then the seeds are cleaned, graded. Initially, the farmers are paid some amount. After grading and testing, another partial amount is paid. If the seed passes the test, the entire amount is paid. All the bags that you see are seeds from the farmers, which will be processed in the unit. You are being taken on a visit of the unit. Women are hired for manual grading are picking off right seeds. This is a seeds wholesale shop at Madanapalli. Display of all the varieties of seeds with special variety of tomato seeds. Very attractive pictures. The proprietor name is Mr. P. V. S. R. Murthy. The proprietor shared that there are two kinds of tomatoes, sour variety and sweet variety. One is a sour kind which can be used in preparing sambar as an alternative to tamarind. In the vicinity, people enjoy and prepare sambar and hence this quality is preferred more by consumers in Chennai. The sour type is more juicy and preferred is in round type. The other varieties are oval, little flat in shape. This market is closer to Chennai. Next he explains the kind of consumer he gets. In the past, farmers used to dry the tomatoes and use it for growing. Now with the advent of seed culture, they buy dry packets of seeds and planted in this fashion till 2000 to 2001. The trend changed after 2001. Plants or saplings are developed in the nurseries from the dry seeds and farmers buy the saplings from the nurseries. So the farmers now depend on the sapling developers rather than the seed seller. Next, he switches to risk involved in his profession. Lot of risk factors are involved. There are situations faced which affect the yield. Other than the natural calamities, farmers blame the seed sellers that the yield suffered from the previous year due to the duplicate seeds given. Disease infected plants develop once in every two to three years. The seed companies then make the necessary changes he says, I do not produce anything. I get it from companies and give it to dealers, from dealers to the nurseries. I only market seeds, basically a distributor. Next, he explains about the variety brand of seeds he markets. Manhans, an MNC from Netherlands and Seedworks are the two companies majorly in Madanapalli region. There are many more companies in the vicinity. There is a difference in yields are produced from one year to the second year. According to Murthy, the land cultivated into the various factors in growth like climate, pest attack and decrease in the yield by mother plants are not very major attributes. The sales per month for tomato seeds 
expected to be 3 to 4 tons and depends on season this is a hilly region morning warm climate and night cool climate which is very ideal for growing tomatoes ideal months are November to March Now the visit is to nurseries. You can view the entrance to the nursery. Tomato saplings, the crate consisting of 98 holes used exclusively to grow tomato saplings. The nursery owner is explaining and showing the saplings for sale. Risk involved is to sell the saplings between 17th and 25th day of growth. Showing how the process is initiated. Seeds are sowed and kept for heating, germination takes place. Great care has to be taken from rats. Seed germinates for 4 to 5 days. Usually the order is placed months before for outside farmers. Locally farmers collect it personally. For further areas loading is done in buses and trucks. The longest distance he sells is at Anoanam. People located away geographically pay in advance than the local farmers. Packing is done in cotton boxes. Local farmers take saplings on debt as they do not have money. They do not exploit the farmers to give them produce in exchange. The relationship between the nursery owner and farmer is very cooperative. The farmer visit the actual farmer's field where tomatoes are produced This corn plants are intercropped. According to the farmer, one can save rupees 2000 if he does 10,000 saplings by himself. Good yield of variety 5005 will be 20 crates per kunta, medium yield 15 crates per kunta, low yield 10 crates per kunta. Summer is the best season for getting good market value. In general, weather is good here due to its location near Harsley Hills. Farmer feels that Rupees 150 to 200 per crate is the affordable price. From this village to Angalu Mandi, transportation charge will be rupees 6 per crate, whereas rupees 10 per crate will be charged from village to Madanapalli Mandi. The crop rotation of groundnut will be helpful in getting good yield of tomato in the next crop.
let us go to the mandi witnessing the wholesale tomato mandi market here only tomatoes are sold in this mandi farmers bring their produce to the market the female laborers sort out the produce grade it arrange it in crates as per mandi standards the farmer places a label of his name and number of crates in his produce each crate carries approximately 35 kilograms of tomatoes fresh juicy and luscious looking tomatoes the man in red and black check shirt is the mandi agent who auctions the price of the tomatoes before auctioning the mandi agent with the help of his assistant displays the quality of the tomatoes by overturning two or three crates depending upon the amount of produce in the crates the price is auction like 150 150 300 300 200 200 till the buyer claims it and takes the crates the tomatoes are auctioned on the basis of the quality of tomatoes after the buyer's purchase they are supposed to empty the crates into their crates and number of crates are more the produce is rearranged into as many crates as possible then the produce is sent to the destination in trucks let us visit the agricultural market office a committee runs the market there is a heavy competition and sometimes the stakes are risky as the farmer is not in a position to pay the entire amount the committee member is explaining the marketing procedures he explains that farmers come from different places like kadapa anantapur etc according to ap regulation act agriculture produce have to be sold in the mandi only there are places like chintamani in karnataka where farmers will sell their produce in madanapalli market since it fetches a good price according to another official of uh, marketing committee the committee plays the role of a facilitator establishing good relations between traders and farmers farmers also come from anantapur and karnataka 80% crop arrives from pulivendala anantapur sometimes farmers need to dispose the produce the same day there is free trading encouraged in this mandi traders coming from neighboring areas are provided with facilities for a stay over 700 tons of tomatoes arrive into the market at times from this mandi this buyer buys about 60 crates per day the variety that is red in color costs between rupees 300 to 350 per day the other buyer sells the tomatoes to other states more so and like maharashtra amdavad in gujarat and he confirms that there is a demand for these tomatoes in other states as well the tomatoes have been segregated and displayed well farmers are being asked if they confirm the price elsewhere before coming to the market but they say that they come straight here farmers say that quality will be assured 
if they are willing to give the quality produce if going online without mandi agents influence and interference this buyer carries 100 crates to the market this vegetable express is loading 100 crates carrying the rupees 300 per crate variety the person talking owns the vehicle and is carrying the produce in his own transport this is a transporter who charges 1000 for the truck for one trip The driver of the truck says that his truck can carry 300 to 350 crates at a time. There is a broker who fixes the deal for the transporter. He drops the product as per the deal, goes to Guntur and other places like